I first met Cesar in 1946 when I was six years old. And he was uh, a running partner of uh, one of my cousins there in Delano, the both Pachucos. And I didn't know it at the time, but, uh, but that was Cesar. The Pachuco experience, which was his teenage youth, uh, was born out of this cultural fusion, you know, the jazz age and the swing music came together with Chicano culture to create the Pachuquismo, right? It was an identity. It was the first generation of those Mexicano families who had come into the United States, the firstborn who were identifying themselves as being totally different than their mothers and fathers. I'm not Mexicano, I'm Chicano. Because I speak English, right? What I did. He was of popular culture, man. He was no different than any other Latino kid growing up in the United States, you know. He loved to dance. Oh, he loved to dance. When I met Cesar, we were walking down the halls of KPFA over here on Shattuck Avenue in Berkeley, and there was a poster there that was for the San Francisco Blues Festival that was featuring Jimmy Liggins. And Cesar stopped and he looked, and he goes, is he still around? And I said, I go, you know who this guy is? He goes, oh yeah. He goes, I used to go dance to him when I was a young pachuco. I said, I go, you were a pachuco? He goes, oh yeah, man. He goes, and I love jazz and blues. He goes, Coleman Hawkins is my man. A lot of people have no idea that the leader of the Farm Workers Union was this guy that had this urban soul inside him, right? And that his taste in, in jazz music was probably the finest expression of that, of that flower, you know. I went on a trip with him to New York about a month before he passed away. During the day, we spent time going to different um, used music shops and um, used bookstores. And he had a list of about 100 of, you know, the top 100 jazz albums that he wanted to get. And he literally would carry it around in his back pocket and pull it out and cross it off as he would find them, as he would purchase new pieces. He really appreciated jazz, and he used to scat with us all the time. We didn't realize that what he was doing was scatting. He would call us Skitty Beam Boom and Skitty Bop Bop, and we just thought that he couldn't remember all of our names because there were so many of us. What I had perceived of him as a young zoot suitor is not untrue. He was, but he is more, and he can be that and a leader at the same time. They can, the leaders can come out of that field. They don't have to come out of ivory towers. They can come out of the, the rocks and the soil and the sand of the land.